President. The Senator from Utah. I'd like to speak briefly about an issue important to me, about an issue important to many Americans. And I'd like to speak briefly about Senator Durbin's recent request for a hearing concerning the Fairness for High-Skilled Immigrants Act. The Fairness for High-Skilled Immigrants Act is a bill that many senators have worked on for nearly a decade. And it's long been a top priority of mine. I've introduced this bill in every single Congress ever since I was first elected to the Senate back in 2010. During that time, it's been the subject of widespread debate and discussion. And it's been a period of time in which a lot of people have learned a lot about this area. The debate and discussion has occurred both on the Hill and off the Hill and throughout the United States. And uh, <clears throat> other members, including Senator Schumer, have sought to pass the bill, as I am doing. Uh, whether that passage occurs by unanimous consent or through some other form matters less to me than that we get it passed. But we do need to get it passed. Now, this year, we've come closer to making this important and bipartisan reform a reality, closer than we've ever come before. I at any point over the, the, the nearly uh, decade that this has gotten a lot of attention. In early July, the House of Representatives passed the bill on the suspension calendar by a wide bipartisan supermajority vote of 365 to 65. Around that time, I ne negotiated an agreement with Senator Grassley to help advance the bill in the Senate by adding provisions drawn from the Durbin-Grassley H-1B reform bill. Senator Grassley had, for many years, openly and publicly made it known that he had concerns with the bill. I was therefore very pleased that we were able to sit down and work out an agreement to address those concerns while keeping the bill narrow and focused on the immediate problem that it's trying to solve, that is, eliminating the country of origin discrimination in our employment-based green card system. I thank Senator Grassley for working with me on that. The process by which I've tried to advance this bill through Congress has been open, transparent, and straightforward. I've sought and continue to seek unanimous consent to pass the bill on the floor. If any member has raised concern about the bill, I've been willing to work with them quickly and in good faith to address their concerns. That's why, after reaching an agreement with Senator Grassley, I also worked with other members to resolve their concerns. For much of the past few months, I simply didn't know who, if anyone else, on the Democratic side of the aisle might have had concerns with the bill. We were told that there might be holds on the Democratic hotline, but we were not told who exactly might be holding the bill. And no one approached me with objections. I certainly had no reason to think that Senator Durbin would have concerns with the bill. As I've explained before, he was a leading co-sponsor of the bill in a previous Congress. What's more, the only substantial difference between the bill he supported and the bill I've put forward in this Congress is the addition of the amendment that I negotiated with Senator Grassley, which is drawn almost entirely from provisions of the Durbin-Grassley H-1B reform bill. In September, I learned that Senator Durbin did, in fact, have concerns with the bill in this Congress. As I have with other members, and as I've expressed a willingness to do with other members, I'm ready and willing to work with Senator Durbin in good faith to quickly and reasonably resolve any objection he may have while preserving the bipartisan support that this bill has long enjoyed and that it deserves to enjoy. As I've said before, I don't believe that any further factual development concerning this bill is necessary. Indeed, at this point, I believe a hearing can serve no purpose other than to delay speedy action on this important reform and jeopardize our ability to act before the end of the year. For that reason, I do not support Senator Durbin's calls for a public hearing. Every day that we delay action on this bill is another day the suffering experienced by immigrants stuck in the green card backlog continues and, indeed, intensifies. That is precisely why 
and I will continue to work to pass this bill at the earliest possible date. The Fairness for High-Skilled Immigrants Act arguably has wider and more bipartisan support than any other immigration bill that's been considered in this body in recent years. A reason for that is because it's focused on a single, serious, solvable problem that I think we can all agree needs to be solved. Whatever other reforms you think might need to be made to our immigration system, with good reason. We can all agree that America should not treat immigrants differently based on their country of origin. There's no reason for this bill to become yet another casualty to the polarized partisan divisions that plague immigration policy. And so, Mr. President, I look forward to working with Senator Durbin to resolve the concerns he may have about this bill. And I reiterate that, once again, this is a narrowly focused bill, one that focuses on a simple but long-standing problem, a problem that subjects some immigrants to needlessly lengthy delays for no reason other than their country of origin. This is from a bygone era that we shouldn't be perpetuating in this country. We need to fix the problem, the Fairness for High-Skilled Immigrants Act would do that, and I encourage all of my colleagues to join me. We're almost there, but we need to get it over the finish line. Thank you, Mr. President.